Good afternoon everyone, my name is Thomas R. Golubvik and this is the fourth video in a series where I talk about uh, going from a 2D uh, AutoCAD based kind of uh, modeling and, and plant layout and converting that to, to 3D. So on the screen here you see the result of, of the last video where we converted uh, our grid lines of a structure into a pipe rack. Uh, and you can see here I've got all my, my different levels uh, and plus obviously uh, just this pipe rack going in the north-south direction. So what we're going to do today is have a look at putting some equipment in here and mainly I'm just going to concentrate on putting a, a couple tanks in here. So you can see here on our uh, 2D layout we've got T1B which is a CO2 absorption tower and DT 113 which is HPC storage tank. So what I'm going to do is under our, our drawings folder I'm going to create a new folder call it equipment and this is also a project in the cloud so at any point I can log on to BIM360 team and um, make up um, uh, my models on, on my local machine and obviously they're, they're subsequently synced up into the cloud. So I'm going to also do a new drawing, so I'll call it EQP0001 and this makes my new equipment model. So I'm just going to append um, or attach my structural model. So you can see here, we've got our 3D model from the structure that we made before and I'm also going to attach the 2D layout uh, in the same spot. So, now we have here this, this absorption tower. So I switch to my 3D workspace if I'm not in it already by switching to 3D piping. And this is where I can start inserting some equipment. So I'm going to create equipment. And we're going to do just a normal vertical vessel. So the properties are all listed there. So I can call it TK. Well, let's just call it T. And it's going to be 1B. In the equipment itself. So it's a cylinder with a diameter of 1143 and it's got two heads on it. So I don't want the bottom head. Um, I might put uh, another cylinder on the bottom and keep my torospheric head. And then I'm just going to click on create. And just for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to put it in the center of where that circle is and orientate it to the north. So you can obviously see there that it's the wrong size. I'm just going to take a distance from quadrant to quadrant. I can see there that it's about 3400 odd in diameter. So right click on my equipment, go to modify equipment and I'm going to make the base uh, let's make it 30 700 in diameter and make it 250 mil high and then our normal diameter will be 3400 and let's make it 5 meters high so I want to override this because the base is not going to be related to the actual body itself and we go OK and there we go so now we have that tank in place and then I'm going to switch to wireframe mode just to show that some nozzles get put in there by default. To edit nozzles, depending on the piece of equipment, if it's a pump you can select it and then you can modify. If it's something like a tank you have to press control, select the item and then press the delete button and the uh, nozzles will delete themselves. So to edit a nozzle, control, press, click on the pencil. And I know that it's, let's say it's going to be a 6 inch and it's going to be a 150 rated 
and it's going to be raised face and then we click on close so there's our nozzle so we can do the same thing for this HPC storage tank so click on create equipment and it is actually DT113 go assign the same thing click on create put in the center Oops. put in the center of that old AutoCAD drawing control delete that and check the distances so quadrant quadrant is six meters diameter so again same thing modify equipment make my base 6300 make this six meters uh, let's make it a square squat tank and then we have our two tanks lined up in the same position we would as our AutoCAD layout and obviously in relation to our structural model there as well.